built specifically for the backpacker looking to shed any and all extraneous weight. The Big Agnes Fly Creek One Platinum weighs in at just one pound, six ounces, despite being a truly freestanding shelter. We're gonna take a closer look at how Big Agnes pulled that off. I'm gonna start by taking off the rain fly and having a closer look at the tent body itself. I've removed the rain fly so we can have a clean look at the interior of the tent or the tent body. Focus here again remains on ultra lightweight construction, on doing away with any extraneous weight. So you've got an incredibly streamlined profile here where you don't need tent, you don't have tent. So there's some cutaways there from what you might expect or are used to seeing um, in other backpacking tents. As far as the size is concerned, there certainly is enough room here for a single sleeper. You've got 86 inches of length, which is plenty of room. You've got 42 inches of width at the, at the head of the tent or there at the door. That's where it's at its widest. It does taper away at the feet as it can, um, again, with weight savings in mind. You've got a silicone treated nylon ripstop floor and obviously ample mesh construction throughout the tent. Keeps the weight down, but also gives it great breathability and helps to uh, fight the buildup of condensation. Something I want to speak to here on the side of the tent, so you can see what looks like a bit of sag here on the tent. Uh, definitely want to call out the fact that when you've got the rain fly on the tent, there are actually some connection points here on the tent body that clip into the underside of that rain fly and open up that tent body. It's not the most sprawling interior of the, the tent. If that's what you're looking for in a tent, there's a different design out there for you. But definitely want to show the fact that there's a little more, more livability in there that might then might first appear with just a quick, quick glance at this tent body. As you'd expect on a tent like the Fly Creek One Platinum, you're also utilizing ultra lightweight pole construction as well. So you've got DAC Featherlight NFL aluminum poles. Still a sturdy aluminum, but certainly a smaller diameter and again, ultra lightweight. It may look like there's multiple poles in play here, but there is not. It's just a single hubbed pole, so it radiates out from that point to the front corners and the rear corner. It does give it freestanding design. Certainly you're gonna to wanna to stake the corners to get to maximize the leg room at the bottom, but you wouldn't have to. You've got freestanding structure even if you haven't done that. I always stake out my backpacking tents, period, unless there's some specific reason why the surface just won't allow it. Um, there are 11 um, J stakes included with the tent, so you get premium, but again, ultra lightweight stakes, so you can do that. That's also enough to do, utilize some of the guy out points. Um, as far as connecting the tent body to the poles is concerned, again, you've got really lightweight, really easy to use hardware. And that includes an overhead connection point here that gives you that maximum peak height of 38 inches. A lot of tapering going on here to save weight. So that overhead peak height really only exists at that single point, starts to drop away from that point. You've got that single door, it's not huge, but definitely enough of an entryway for a solo backpacker. A couple of other things to mention here on the inner tent body. You do have a small overhead mesh pocket that's built right into the tent. So nice little spot to stash a headlamp or any other small items that you might wanna quickly put hands on during the night. There are also integrated gear loft loops on the inside of the tent. It does not come with a gear loft, but Big Agnes does sell the triangle gear loft separately. And that would be the appropriate gear loft to use for this tent to get even more overhead storage. Also wanna point out that all of the seams on the tent body um, are seam taped. So despite that ultra lightweight construction, you do have some bolstered weather protection in addition to the rain fly. As you can see, I've put the rain fly back onto the tent so we can take a closer look at it. It is a silicone treated nylon ripstop fly. So again, key focus here is keeping weight to a minimum and delivering on an ultra lightweight tent. Um, 
You do need to stake out the front corners. So in doing so, you'll create a 5.5 square foot vestibule. So you've got some gear storage in front of that door. Um, there are guy out points at various um, placements on the rain fly. So if you're expecting windy conditions or you just want as taut a pitch as possible, you certainly can guy out the fly. This reflective guy line on the tent is a nice little feature if you think about going away from the tent um, and coming back to it in low light conditions or at night. Um, that reflectivity is picked up by a headlamp and you can quickly identify a tent or just make sure that you aren't tripping over the guy line as you make your way uh, around a campsite. Big Agnes does offer a Fly Creek One footprint. Um, it's certainly worth considering investing in that. You've got an ultra lightweight design that's gonna bolster um, the durability of the floor of that tent. It also adds in some versatility. If you've got the footprint, you can use it with just the fly, just the poles, and go even lighter in weight. You can drive the weight on this all the way down to just one pound, one ounce, if you really need to go even lighter. If you use it in its traditional setup, in the Big Agnes Fly Creek One Platinum, you've got a truly freestanding shelter with a compact pack size and a weight of just one pound, six ounces.